Hello student, I am Latif sir. Today I will discuss about the ISC class 12 chemistry. The topic is the solid state. On this topic I have already uploaded two video and in the last video I have uh, discussed about calculation of cracking fraction. From the calculation of cracking fraction, I think you understood that in a unit cell how much uh, space are closely packed and how much are uh, vacant. You have to remember uh, no crystal system, no unit cell are there which are 100% closely packed. Just remember the calculation of packing fraction of sim uh, primitive or sim uh, simple unit cell, the packing fraction is 52%. In case of in case of uh, face centered uh, unit cell, the packing fraction is 74%. In case of body centered unit cell, the packing fraction is 68%. So, in, uh, so in case of primitive unit cell, the uh, vacant space is just minus uh, uh, from 100 to 100 minus 52. The remaining part is vacant. Similarly, in case of similarly in case of face centered unit cell. The packing fraction is 74. That is 74 percent in the unit cell are closely packed, and remaining part just minus 100 minus 74. That is 6. Uh, that is uh, 26 percent. 26 percent are there vacant space. Similarly, in case of body centered unit cell, you can see the packing fraction is 68. So remaining part that is. Uh, 32, 32% are vacant space. So, from this calculation, you understood that no crystals, no unit cell are 100% close, closely packed. There are some vacant space. Okay. Today, I will discuss about close packing in crystals. First, today I will discuss about closed pack in two dimension. So, two dimensional packing of constituent particles. Two dimensional means the arrangement or constituent particles, arrangement of constituent particles or a sphere along two direction, two axes x and y. There are two types of two dimensional close packed, close packing. First one is square close packing. Just First, see the uh, draw, diagram or drawing. Here you can see that as I mark the central uh, sphere and it attached with four neighbor sphere and the four neighbors are, are uh, at the corner of a square. You can see I have drawn a square. Okay. So, Square close packing is in this close packing, each sphere or each particle touches four adjacent sphere, and the center of adjacent sphere are at the corner of a square. That's why this type, this type of uh, arrangement of constituent particles or sphere are called square close packing. Here you can see the each uh, particles are attached with four neighbor particles or four neighbor sphere. That's why coordination number in square close packing is four. Now one point I uh, I have to memorize you the what is coordination number? Coordination number is the number of particles attached to it with their particular particles or uh, number of particles or number of sphere here the central sphere is attached with four uh, four neighbor sphere that's why coordination number of the central sphere is four here all a uh, coordination number of all sphere is uh, is four and in square close packing the space occupied by the sphere are 52.4 percent that is the remaining parts are remaining uh, space are vacant. Now second one hexagonal close packing. This is also a two dimensional close packing that is arrangement of the constituent particles along two direction x and y two along two axes. But 
the arrangement is different type, somewhat different types of square close packing from the from uh, square close packing. Okay, see the uh, drawing. See both both drawing. You can uh, differentiate the arrangement. In case of uh, square close packing, the particles are placed one uh, so in the same way. But in case of hexagonal close packing, particles are not arranged in same way. Okay, you can see the first layer, second layer, and third layer huh, are different in a hexagonal. But in uh, square close packing, the first layer, second layer, and third layer all are similar type. So in hexagonal uh, close packing, you can see along uh, according to the drawing. In this close packing, each sphere touches with six adjacent spheres, where center, uh, whose center lie on a regular hexagon, and I have drawn a hexagon. So, quadrant number in this case is six, because each sphere in this arrangement is is attached with six adjacent sphere. That's why quotation number is 6. And the space occupied by the sphere in hexagonal close packing is 60.4 percent you have to remember. Okay. So, these two are two dimensional packing of constituent particles or constituent spheres. Uh, constituent particles here are generally presented as sphere. Now, I have already uh, told that no crystal system, no unit cell are hundred percent closely packed. There are some vacant space, and this vacant or empty space present between the sphere of a unit cell is called void or holes. When particles are closed packed, uh, when particles are closed packed, resulting in either CCP that is cubic closed pack or hexagonal close pack ACP structure, two types of void are generated. Here you can see in Q, uh, hex square close packing or you, you may think it uh, cubic close packing. I mentioned the void yeah, giving arrow. In square close packing, there, there are some voids. It is written by giving arrows. And in hexagonal close packing, that is HCP, there are some, uh, there are also some vacant space. I have written it by giving arrows, void one, void two. So, when particles are closed packed, resulting in either CCP or HCP structure, two types of voids are generated. First one is tetrahedral voids. What is, what are these tetrahedral voids? Tetrahedral voids are holes or void voids surrounded by four spheres present at the corner of a tetrahedron. See the drag, uh, drawing. In this drawing, you can see that there are three spheres in the lower uh, lower low, uh, lower layer, and now place one sphere just. Uh, just on the vacant site of the uh, found by the lower layer by the three sphere. Okay, put a next uh, sphere on the vacant uh, vacant site or uh, formed by the three sphere of lower layer. Then the vacant space, then the void form between this uh, between four sphere is called tetrahedral void. You can see and dotted sphere is the sphere placed uh, above the lower layer and the solid sphere are the three sphere present in the lower layer. You can do it uh, by taking some balls at, at home. Takes uh, three balls uh, and at place, uh, place according to this drawing and now put a fourth ball on, uh, on the vacant space on the Packing space formed by the three balls just uh, uh, just in the lower layer. Then the vacant yeah then the vacant or hole or empty space formed 
in between four spheres is called tetrahedral voids. You have to remember Quotient number of a tetrahedral voids is 4. Yeah, okay. And the ratio of voids and the uh, radius of voids and the radius of sphere are related by some some equation. This uh, and this is R void, R means radius of void is equal to 0.225 into R sphere, that is radius of sphere in tetrahedral in case of tetrahedral voids. Now, octahedral voids. The octahedral voids are whole surrounded by six spheres located on a regular octahedron. And quadrature number of a octahedral void is six. And the diagram is shown. You can see here. There are three spheres, three, or you may think that uh, these are balls. Three, uh, three ball in the lower layer and now place another three ball just just uh, on the vacant, uh, vacant space found by uh, three balls present in the lower layer and dotted uh, balls or dotted sphere are the dotted sphere are the uh, per, uh, particles present just above the lower layer okay you can do you can also do this um, by taking some balls at home okay the octahedral voids are formed between six sphere when they are arranged in uh, in this manner in this arrangement so you can see i've, uh, I've shown that uh, the octahedral voids by giving arrow and in case of octahedral voids the quotient number of octahedral voids is six and the ratio of void, radius of voids to the radius of sphere is R, R void is equal to 0 0.414 into R sphere. So, what is the ratio of void to uh, radius of voids to radius of sphere in case of octahedral voids? This is 0.414 into uh, radius of voids, void that is R void is equal to 0 0.414 into R sphere while in case of tetrahedral voids the radius ratio of voids to the radius of sphere is R void is equal to 0 0.225 into R sphere. You have to remember I have given a note in a crystal lattice there are some two types of voids tetrahedral voids and octahedral voids both are present and what will be the number of tetrahedral voids and number of uh, octahedral voids in a closed pack lattice there are some rules you have to remember just this rule so in a crystal lattice the number of octahedral voids always is equal to the number of closed pack particles or closed pack sphere while in case of tetrahedral voids the number of tetrahedral voids in a crystal lattice is always double of the number of constituent particle closely packed or that is number of tetrahedral voids in a crystal lattice is equal to 2 into number of close pack particles while number of octahedral voids equal to number of close pack particles now the structure of ionic crystal ionic radius ratio the ionic radius ratio of cation and anion play a very important role in giving a clue to the nature of crystal system of ionic uh, ionic substances what is radius ratio radius ratio means in a ionic crystal ionic crystal are formed by, uh, by ions that is there are cations and anions must be present in ionic crystal and the radius ratio means here the radius ratio is radius of cation to the radius of anion. By remembering the value of radius ratio, you can say, you can find out which type of a uh, of a given crystal, ionic crystal. Okay, let's see radius ratio and crystal structure. Just you have to remember the radius value of 
radius ratio. How the radius ratio value, this value comes, you have not to be uh, remember, okay, you have not to be read, just remember this value. So, radius ratio, correlation number, space, crystal lattice, an example. First, value of radius ratio less than 0.225, then the if radius value of radius ratio is less than 225, then the correlation number of this ionic crystal uh, of this ionic crystal uh, correlation number of each uh, particles present in the, in the in this ionic crystal is maybe 2 or 3 and shape may be linear or tri, uh, triangular and crystal structure may be linear or triangular example of of this uh, this type of ionic crystal is b2o3 boron oxide when radius ratio values in between 0.225 to 0 0.141, uh, 0 0.414, 0 0.225 to 0 0.414, then the quotation number of each constituent ions that is cation and anion is 4. And the shape of this type of ionic crystal is always tetrahedral. And crystal structure is ZNS type. An example of such type of uh, ionic crystal where a radius ratio is uh, li lies between 0 0.225 to 41, 0.414 is copper CuCl, cuprous chloride, cuprous bromide, CuBr, HS, BAS, etc. Now, value of radius ratio 0 0.414 to 0.732. Here constant number is 6 and shape is octahedral, crystal structure is NaCl type and example is magnesium oxide, NaBr, CaS, KBr, etc. Now radius ratio value is 0.732 or more, then correlation number is 8, constant number of each constituent particles that is constant number of each cation and anion is 8 and the shape is cubic cube and structure of the uh, crystal structure is cesium chloride type some other example are ca casi that is cesium iodide cesium bromide csbr ammonium bromide etc now ionic crystal may be of two types a b type that is nacl type a b a is cation b is anion or a to b that is na 2 o k 2 o this type of ionic or a b 2 for example m g c l 2 c a c l 2 this type of ionic crystal so ionic crystal may be two types of two types a b types and a to b or a b 2 types Now see, ionic crystal, cation in the ionic crystal, the cation, uh, let's uh, uh, see the box, there are some uh, uh, column and rows. So, let's see the first, ionic crystal type, cation occupies, anion form and correlation number. First example is, Ionic crystal, uh, ionic crystal type is NaCl or rock salt type, uh, rock salt structure type. In NaCl, NaCl or rock salt uh, structure type ionic crystal, cations that is Na plus ions occupy octahedral voids. All octahedral voids are occupied by cation. That is in case of NaCl by uh, in the cations are in a plus that is a, all in a plus occupied occupied the octahedral voids and the anion that is cl minus in case of C, a, a, cl cl minus that is anions form fcc face centered cubic unit cell and the coordination number of each constituent particles that is cation and anion in a plus and cl minus ion coordination number is 6 is to 6 next one cesium chloride type crystal uh, ionic crystal type is cesium chloride type 
here the cations occupy body center that is cation um, present at the will present at the body center center of the body of the unit cell and the anions that is still minus ion will form a simple cubic unit cell cell minus ion forms simple cubic unit cell and cs plus will present at the center center of the body here constant number of each constant particle is 8 is to 8 similarly in case of z in a sphalerite uh, structure type where cations are uh, cations uh, uh, occupy the alternate tetrahedral voids and anion that is sulfide s minus s2 minus form face centered unit cell that is FCC unit cell here correlation number is 4 is to 4 now next example uh, next ionic crystal type is CAF2 that is fluoride structure type in this case cation occupy that is cation means CA2 plus a yeah, calcium 2 plus altern, uh, occupies the alternate body center and the anion that is F minus anion form simple cubic unit cell here the correlation number ratio of is 8 is to 4 and the last one is Na2O sodium oxide Na2O uh, type or antifluorite antifluorite structure type in this case cation that is Na plus occupies all tetrahedral site that is tetrahedral voids and the anion that is O minus O2 minus forms a face centered unit cell and correlation number ratio is 4 is to 8. Now, see a note on applying pressure, pressure on NACL structure, NACL structure is 6 is to 6 uh, type correlation number type of structure. NACL uh, on applying pressure, NACL structure 6 is to 6 correlation changes into cesium chloride structure that is 8 is to 8 coordination number and the reverse of this occur at high temperature that is above near about 760 kelvin temperature so thank you